A recent survey published by science journal Nature has shown that scientists are cautiously open to the benefits AI will bring to their research. We spoke to Spring and Nature, publishers of that survey at the Frankfurt Book Fair, about what AI means for researchers and publishing in general. Technology is advancing fast. The infusion of AI into our everyday lives is both thrilling and frightening in equal measures. When it comes to scientific research, using AI can't be an experiment. Reports need to be quantified, trusted and ethical. Spring and Nature supports scientists and researchers to make the most of emerging tech so they can produce results quicker and more accurately than ever before. We're a publishing company, but you could actually argue we're a technology company. If you look at the build-up of our staff, and that's very similar to if you look at our competitors, roughly a third of our roles are actually technology roles. We have built up quite a significant number of staff dedicated to AI. Uh, I think that's important because you need to have that knowledge internally to understand how it affects your processes and the value proposition that you can offer to the market. If you look at our authors, they don't write because they like to write. They don't read because they like to read. They like to do research. And for them, in a way, writing or reading are just supportive of the research process. So whatever we can do by using technology to make that process easier for them, that's something that they will embrace. Providing access to high quality and accurate research is at the core of what Springer Nature does. Technology speeds up the process, but it requires a helping hand from the team. For a lot of our customers, it's sort of like the next explosion. It's recognising that everybody goes at a different pace. There's always some early adopters, there's always some second and third adopters. Everybody can go at that different pace, but we still play a role all the way along. So this is going to be the future of how AI and humans are going to come together and how AI is going to augment uh, the human capability. AI will help us to build a faster, a safer, and a more enjoyable publishing experience. Tools which help you as a researcher to go from the research that you did in a lab, the data that you generate, to actually capturing it and writing it into a paper. We also use AI to make sure that we're able to translate books, to make sure books and content is available in the languages that people speak, because at the end of the day, the language for research cannot just be English. Going forward, we're actually harnessing AI not just to detect issues with uh, the writing, but also detect issues with uh, gels, bots, uh, pictures, etc. With more researchers and authors embracing AI, there's a real excitement at Springer Nature Group. They're using their expertise to offer a helping hand in the move towards a more digital world. If you just go back in time, there was not a single time where technology didn't make a big change to our industry. AI especially has the opportunity to help on the whole journey our authors, our customers to thrive, to get faster, to get published. There's sanity checks, there's quality checks that we need to do, there are sanction checks we need to do. All those things can be done in an automated way where you don't have to have humans doing the job. Most important when it comes to AI is that we have our principles making sure that on AI the human is always in the loop, even more is always in the driving seat to drive that and we never let the machine decide. Over 50% of researchers are using AI tools already. As according to a recent survey conducted by Nature, Spring and Nature's flagship scientific journal, among those who used AI in their research, more than one quarter felt that AI tools would become essential to their field in the next decade. But two thirds say they were concerned that it could be used to spread misinformation. When we asked the researchers, again, over half of them said they would um, definitely be using AI, be critical to what they do in the future. Content is obviously key to that. And we have first chat GPT book. And that was fascinating watching the authors and the editors and our technology people interact and how they can work with um, Gen AI to extract content and how they can, more importantly, make sure that that content can be trusted as well. Trust sits right at the heart of, of research. Um, and that's, you know, we see ourselves as, as guardians um, working with the researchers, ensuring that the research we publish can be trusted. So in the AI space, we're approaching this in, in much the same way. AI isn't a fad, it's here to stay. And it could bring about a hugely positive impact to society. 
if used correctly and in partnership with companies who are putting tech development at the heart of their mission.